second half, we didn't start it with the same sense of urgency. I think that's obvious. Um, we knew they were going to make a run, but um, even when we 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 answered a little bit in the second half, we couldn't consistently put together scores and stops. Um, and they didn't shoot the ball that well in the second half, so you knew they were going to shoot the ball better. They got too many good shooters out there. We just kind of let them pick us apart. Momentum played a huge role too, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, um, you already got five, probably five of some of the, some of the best three-point shooters in our league on their team, and then LeBron starts making threes off the dribble. Then he starts attacking and picking it apart, and they start getting into it. Everybody starts kind of getting hot. It's kind of just um, just how we were. And you see everybody, everything's clicking, everything's rolling. And they, they got open looks. They, then they started making contested looks. And, is what it is. Did there become a sense of panic when things start slipping away like that and you're facing a team as good as they are? Definitely speed up a little bit and you can see it in the game. We kind of got away from the things we were doing in the first half. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, not as much ball movement. Um, didn't really, and then we couldn't push like we were because we weren't getting stops. We getting stops in the first half, so it allowed us to push the tempo and move the ball. And now that the defense gets set, I mean, you're not getting stops. Now you're coming down against a a more set defense every time. You kind of get stagnant. They kind of, uh, obviously, they trapping Paul on any situation they can. Um, using the, we end up using more and more of the shot clock. We have to take it. We sped up and then you have to take a rush shot at the end of the clock, so. To have 17 first half assists and finish with 25, is that indicative of just the offense getting bogged down? Yeah, that's pretty much what I was saying. Like, you stop, the biggest thing, you stop getting stops and the tempo changes completely. You can't push it. I mean, you can push off makes, but it's not the same. You don't get the same momentum. You don't get the same movement. You don't get guys, multiple guys touches. It's just kind of get down there and try to figure out how to get Paul open, and then they double him, or if he's got the ball, they double him right away, and then you get guys sped up in situations trying to make plays, and then you try to make home run plays. You know how that goes. So there's a little bit of everything that kind of mixes in, and you just got to be able to kind of rally each other together and, and you remember what we did the first half. CJ, you've had, a, you've had a lot of Kyrie on the bench. Say it again. Surprising to see them be able to do that with Kyrie not playing in the fourth quarter. No. Uh, I mean, obviously he is Kyrie. Um, but, I mean, when you got that floor spread like that and LeBron gets rolling and then he's able to kind of get downhill and start getting those other guys rolling and picking you apart, it kind of kind of makes it makes the floor even bigger because you got four three-point shooters standing out there and him making them off the dribble. CJ, how important is it to turn the page or, and not let one like this linger? Or is it better to let it resonate and watch film about this? Uh, you definitely watch film on it. Uh, I think you definitely see the difference. So you can see the difference between the body language and the energy the first, second half. I think you probably will watch it. But I think the biggest thing now is you look at it, it's 3-0. Like, you want to go home or not? It's pretty simple. There's nothing really more to say about it. Do you, do you, how do you get over this from a mental standpoint? I mean, because it's not like... You lost a close game. It was one where you guys were rolling. And you want to go home crumbled. or not? That's the mental the mentality. Like that's how you get over. It. It's like you want to keep playing. Or that's pretty much the only thing you can take into the next game. Like I don't really know what you think about after tonight. I mean, obviously it didn't go your way. You're gonna be upset about it tonight. But you come here tomorrow, and the next day you focus is not going home.